sir. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Mm. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squid ink. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter? Would you like to come out and see your friends? Park off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, You'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an alpine seed. Clearly you have important matters afoot. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the Land of the Elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever realm traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, the Light Elves came back. Things seemed better in Alphon. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Yikes. Fimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble Winter.
A living desert. Huh. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. What do you hear? Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but... Dark elves get on best they can. Perhaps we can reach that brazier from above. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Good eye. Bye, Frost Eyes. Is everything okay? Aye, old friend. Just putting you on your chest. We'll be right along. My dad likes lube. Ah, very well. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freyr's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. What became of Kvasir? Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of his audience. Well, Thor. The 
Did you mention how that piece fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. We don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Whoa! Is that a bomb? We're the ones who freed the light. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. I hate Alpha. Most unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freyr. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. So tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. How do we enter? Grab that wheel and I'll show you. I'll go first. Atreus! Let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the division. The division. Yes. The elves weren't always split between light and dark, you know. This statue depicts the elves before the war, before they discovered the power. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. Oh, it's the light. Oh. Oh. 
I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the Elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. Well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends would be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves, let me try talking to them again. They may. Thanks just to let these two do their thing, brother. Light Elf! Watch out! <laughs> Poor souls. Here, they came across on light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way. The shrine awaits. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's life to enhance the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. Mumir, do you understand these poems? Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh there, friends! Salutations! We mean you no harm. Here! Get back! <laughs> Yeah! 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 Yeah!
least I tried. I get it now. Why they keep fighting? The Dark Elves want the souls in the light left alone. But the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. They sure made a lot of these light doors. Hmm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. Let's continue our ascent, yes? I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. We know. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Forgive my impatience. Oh, tricky. It's great, right? I don't mean to speak out of turn, but the white marble wall behind that grate. Perhaps your axe can reach it. to it then. Building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprised. Esteem. <laughs> I suppose I'll leave you to it then. Stone on the ground. That's the wrong. No. 
Another chest. He's getting the hang of it. I've never seen the light out of so much control of the temple. Guess that's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. Battle Yoffer's counterpart. The Dark Elf King. Yes, he's in the light now, too. must be precise. Done. The light door blocking the chest is gone. Now we just need to find a way over there. <laughs> Continue up this way. Father, over here. <laughs> here they come. Do what you must. My lord, it's coming. <laughs> Figure out how they're making light bridges. Look at this statue, these crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. I wonder if this statue were to fall over the chasm. Oh, 
crystals still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? And here we go. Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. That angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. But now... Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? <laughs> he made his choice. The wrong one. For Alpine, perhaps, but not necessarily for him. I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own paths, regardless of where they end. <laughs> Getting stuck on the wing.
That looks right. Tear, the last time we were here, we killed the Dark Elf King. That's unfortunate. I'd wondered what became of Svartenhofer. We had to defend ourselves. But when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. Fine job, brother. This way. We're almost there. Still hear something wounded out there. Trey. I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. There, the central chamber will bring us to the top once we find our way past yet another light door. There's some sounds down up there. It pairs quite nicely with the Twilight Stone. A knack for interiors, these light elves. Your father is indeed thorough. Limitless. Limitless what? Power? Growth? Ambition? A bit vague, isn't it? the wrong way. Hmm. Maybe if we... Allow me to speed this up. The angle should work, Kratos. inside last time but I can't anymore her soul is one with the light now united by forces older than Odin himself she is at peace Atreus I hope so when father went inside the light he said he, he went inside the light of Alfheim yes and yet here you stand of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated you must tell me Kratos what did you see 
That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... Difficult, to say the least. What are you doing? I heard something. Father, she's... She's gone. We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many dark elves. I... All this time, I thought the dark elf came... I thought all the dark elves were... Here? Yes. We helped the wrong side. Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you should have this one. There it is. Ah, you all made it. Welcome. This will be of use. I'll disinfect my tools. Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. storage chest.
I'll heat up the forge. Have we more to talk about? The Giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he heard, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look. Here. This is what we saw. It's you. Fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't. I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? But the other realms thrive? She did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there, and the elves. Champion. Okay, whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time. We know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, you. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. Time. We can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way.
used to be a Nornia chest down here. Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. <laughs> before more arrive. Focus, Atreus.
here? Are you okay? No. It is over. It is far from over. I... It's gonna be okay, dear. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf... ...and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice! I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight. But with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Sir. Hey, dear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. You shouldn't linger. want to do the right thing and according to prophecy speak no more of prophecy war will not give you the purpose you seek atreus only slaughter so what are we supposed to do roll over do nothing enough we will discuss our next move when we are out of danger <laughs> Self-assault. How fortuitous. We need to get out of here. Go! 
Can we leave now, please? Almost there. This way. Here. We... Open the gateway, please. yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. We do not need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. Look, I know we can't trust prophecy, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. 
We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now, I wish to search for the animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. Oh. Okay then. Good. Yeah. Lead the way. We should be able to reach the barons up top. Once we find a way past this hive matter. I remember these things. Definitely Dark Elf territory. What are these animals? Gulon, native to Vanaheim. I'm not sure what they're doing here. Someone trained them to pull a sled. Lucky for us. Domesticated Gulon. Most unusual. particular direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? I can't hear anything out here. Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings? A tempting treasure chest. Damn this sand! <laughs> Look! There's a cave entrance! underneath the desert. Is the creature within? Yeah, sounds like it. We'll find it if we keep going. What is this place? A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining, now that they're barred from the temple. Great. Oh! <laughs> 
I know more about the Dark Elves. I wish we didn't have to fight them. They attack us. Oh, this is their home. And considering what happened the last time we were in Alphine, can you really blame them? <laughs> Patience. A virtue or a threat? Depends on the reader. now it's not always like that some animals are just i feel what they're feeling you know and whatever this thing is it's in a lot of pain i see why do you ask i am curious really i am capable of curiosity okay okay
spells or enchanted rings or whatever. Much has changed for both of us. Well, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why you'd help some random animal. Is this not what you want? No, no, it, it is. I'm just surprised it's what you want, too. No, I don't want to abandon it. But if we have to kill a bunch of Dark Elves to get there... I remember a young lad who, until this very moment, would take on an army of Draugr to save a wounded animal. But these aren't undead Draugr. They're Elves. I just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes. Getting involved where we shouldn't.
there. That bomb should help us out. It's just... Why does it feel like no matter what we do in Alphine, we wind up hurting Dark Elves? We are down here to help the creature you heard. I know that. But I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. Okay. the largest bloody half goof I've ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Lunch. We'll get you out. What does that mean? Well, the last good thing we saw was Diener, so... Oh boy. While I appreciate the attempt at humor, that little brother is truly awful workplace. Embarrassing, really. Oh well, and I'll be winners. <laughs> it looks like it can move now, but it still can't get out. Much of the hype matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Why did they trap it down here? half of us are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our Dark Elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves, any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources, one the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. So, by clearing out all of this hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Then let us free it. We can cut the half goofa loose here. It flies? Of course it flies. It's a half goofa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. 
Aye, perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our Dark Elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered... He just wants to spend time with you, lad. While he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you... for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. What's that? A diagram for a sword hilt. Perhaps we should show it to one of the dwarves. They'll know what. we fought in Svartalfan. Those were Enriar? I thought Enriar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. That's something you could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. I know this sounds weird, but can you tell me again what happens when someone dies? Every living thing has a soul, and every soul has four parts. Form, ah! mind, direction, and luck. Direction steers the souls of giants, dwarves, elves, and animals toward the Lake of Souls in Alfheim, where all the parts may be absorbed back into Alfheim's great light. So that's where Fenrir is? The Lake of Souls? So long as his soul still has its direction, aye, I 
It's well on its way. Thank you. This axe just keeps getting stronger. Want something in particular? And Atreus? Kratos? Oh, got time to chat? Oh, surprised to see you out here, Sindri. You must hate the sand. Oh, it is the worst. But with Brock banned from Alfheim, it's up to me to keep you ship shape and sharp. So why is Brock banned from Alfheim? Oh, that's, um, I don't know if, well, do you know what a juicy Noken is? No. Well, thanks to Brock, the elves sure do. Uh, what is a juicy... No. Do you believe in fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. Tears had enough time to find its equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in them, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes, and I will attend. There. Ah, you figured it out. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Anyhow, was there something else you wish to talk about? I have a question. Splendid. I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh, no, young Master Atreus. Those are leaned worms, the brood of Neithog. Neithog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neetho chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neetho is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... Familiar. Hmm. <sighs> Carry on, my friends. I am already here, Master Kratos. Perhaps there was some confusion. This is for calling me out here, not for when I am 
here. You just like hearing the sound of the chimes? I suppose they do sound very pretty. Master Kratos, this feels very uncharacteristic of you, but if you enjoy the pretty chimes that much, I will allow you to indulge. Yes, you've done it. Well thrown. Ah, the sound of the chimes is not unbeautiful at this distance, so perhaps you could not. Already here, as it were. So... I see you're deliberately attempting to push me into some sort of emotional outburst, are you? Well, I'm not so easily swayed, my good man. Stop! Stupid time! Oh, oh dear. I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. I am already here, Master Kratos. Perhaps there is some confusion. This is for calling me out here, not for when I am here. Ah, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve. Oh, elven design, huh? Always love their style. Lots of curves. <laughs> 